What's up guys? Today I'm going to be taking the axle off my 99 Jeep Cherokee and showing you guys how to do it step by step. So let's get to it. So the U-joint that we're going to be replacing on my Jeep is the driver's side axle. Every time I do full lock it starts making a noise so that everything points to that. So we're going to jack the car up, take the tire off, and then we'll get to work getting that axle out. Alright, so now that I got the car jacked up, the first thing I'm going to do is get this hub bolt off. Or attempt to get this hub bolt off, it's pretty hard. So you're going to take out this carter pin first, and then you should be able to get the bolt off. It might be a little tough, like I said, it's rusted on there and it's torqued pretty hard. So let's get to taking that off, and then we could get to the next step. Alright, now I'm going to take off these two caliper bolts. They're both 13 millimeter bolts. So once you get that off, you can move that out of the way. So now that I got this caliper out of the way, I'm going to take off this control arm. There's a cutter pin on this one also. Here you can see the cutter pin right here. You unfold it, pull it out, and then unbolt this. That way we can move the hub back and forth. That way we can get this out. All right, now I'm gonna take this control arm puller and pull this control arm off. So now we need to remove these three 13 millimeter 12 point bolts. There's one right here, one right here, then one on the other side. All right, so now that you got those bolts off, you're gonna to wanna to separate this part from this part right here. And the way you'll do that is by hitting it with a hammer. Probably have to hit it in a couple different spots just to get it to loosen up. I'm gonna try it with this rubber mallet, so hopefully that works, but if not, then I'm gonna try a regular hammer. All right, there we go. So now we got that part off. As you can see, the little dust plate's back here. So we got this off, and now we have access to the axle. Which you just pull right through. So now we can get to change in the U-joint. All right, guys, so that's how you remove an axle on a 99 Jeep Cherokee. It's a little hard without impact tools. I tried to do it by hand for the most part, but I could not do it without my impact wrench. Uh, I just have a cheap electric one, but that did the job. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. The next video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the U-joint on the axle. I also got the tuning video for the Subaru coming out. I haven't had a chance to do that because it's been snowing here, and I... Don't want to take the Subaru out and have somebody run into me, so hopefully I'll be able to get that one done soon too. But stay tuned and we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.